What's up guys, Super Casual here, and it's here guys, the first reveal for Grace. I would have got this video out sooner, but unfortunately I had to work, um, but here we are. So my first thought looking at this uh, splash art is that we have a Joan of Arc looking character, you know, a female knight, paladin, whatever you want to call it. Actually, you definitely get the vibe of like a paladin from Diablo 2 from back in the day. Um, might be showing my age a little bit that I remember that game. Uh, probably for the younger viewers, you won't have a clue what I'm talking about. But if you ever played it, you know that looks like one of the uh, classic armor sets from Diablo 2. <clears throat> but so she's got some uh, looks like steel armor with gold trim. Um, pretty pretty cool looking armor. Um, she has a big mace and she's got some like handmaids, you know, clothing her, possibly nuns, which is kind of where I get the uh, Joan of Arc. And also, I mean, if it's a paladin, it makes sense that there's nuns because they were kind of holy war uh, warriors. Um, so we're going to go ahead and just jump into this. So it says, Grace leads her team into battle by charging forward with her giant mace. <laughs> I'm glad they call it a giant mace because it is in fact huge. Uh, utilizing the power of the light, she protects her allies by granting them holy shields that greatly reduce incoming damage. Alright, I'm going to stop right here for a second. Uh, reducing incoming damage. So, that right there screams uh, like it, anybody that plays League of Legends or knows, watches, you know, pro League of Legends, like I don't play it, but I like to watch it. Um, I like the uh, the protect, protect the AD carry uh, comps. They're real interesting to watch. I mean, they have a lot of like damage reduction and healing and uh, shielding, and that's that's the first thing I'm getting from that. So it reduces incoming damage. So um, we have in Vanguard we have a lot of healing in the sense of we have Lyra and we have Adagio, both per, you know both give healing to their team, but they don't uh, they don't they don't reduce damage. So damage reduction is pretty pretty cool. Something we haven't seen a lot of. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, so the, let me let me continue. Um, this is just something I'm excited to see, though, guys. I mean, uh, I'd like to see more variety in the comps that uh, come out in competitive Vainglory, as well as just I mean, being able to play different comps, different styles. Because um, right now it's like you're pretty much dead set on running, you know. A weapon power carry up in the lane, possibly a crystal power in the form of like Adagio, maybe, maybe like a crystal Ringo or Box up in the lane, but then you're running, you know, the opposite down in the uh, jungle. So if you're running a weapon power carry in the lane, you're running a crystal in the jungle, etc., etc. Don't have to break that down too much more. Um, and then you have like one support character, which I understand is a three v three, so it doesn't allow as much variety as. Uh, 5v5, but with 5v5 coming out uh, later, hopefully later this year, um, this will be something that's really interesting to see, and I'd like to see what Vainglory does as far as if they offer both competitively, like both uh, 3v3 and 5v5. I'd love to see a 5v5 uh, competitive, uh, you know, beyond just like, oh, it's a casual game type. I'd like to see it as a ranked game type, its own ladder, that kind of thing, because I want to play with more, more variety I guess so it says uh, we're gonna move on but when the fight seems bleak she can turn the tides of battle by calling upon the seraphim to dish out massive single target heals okay so we're back to the the paladin thing she's calling on the seraphim seraphim are angels uh, 12 winged angels if I remember right not really up on my angel lore guys so forgive me but <clears throat> she calls upon the seraphim to dish out massive single target heals so here we are we now have an alternate healer so now we have uh, Adagio, Lyra, and now Grace. So we got three healers. So now we can't see all healing banned out. If the people want to play a, you know, some sort of healing, it's there. Somebody's going to get one at least. Um, so this will affect drafting. Uh, you know, it'll stop people from... You can't ban out both healers and you know, call it an even playing field and then you know, just build your comp otherwise. But what it will do is you know so i would expect to see lyra and adagio not get banned every single game um and granted we've seen a, a distance from that but 
um, for the most part. You know, we especially at the uh, beginning of the spring split for North America, we saw a lot of that where it was Adagio Lyra banned automatically at the beginning of a game. Um, and then as the season went on, as the split went on, we saw that change with the different updates. Um, to this point, I think it's pretty common for like Kashka and Baron to get va- uh, banned, maybe even uh, like Grump Jaw getting banned, stuff like that. So we, we have some variety uh, now where those aren't like automatic bans. But anyway, let me, let me get back to topic here, guys. So uh, it says read on for Grace's abilities. So hero abilities. The first one is Retribution. That's her heroic perk. Grace chains her normal basic attack into a ground slam, dealing bonus weapon damage and slowing enemies in a wide area. If enemies are hit by the ground slam, her ability cooldowns are reduced. Okay, so um, we've seen cooldown reduction built into kit for different heroes. Um, The first one I think of is um, Alpha. Alpha has that kind of built in. Um, I'm trying to think who else. I'm sure there's somebody else, and I'm just drawing a blank right now, but... All right, so her base, her normal basic attack turns into uh, chains into a ground slam. So I don't know if that's like a second attack or if it like just changes the animation, and it deals bonus weapon damage and slows enemies in a wide area. So her basic attack delivers a slow. So that's something I don't think there's many people that have that just yet. Um, but it kind of like she has like a frost burn built in uh, to her kit. Or a shiver steel, whichever one you want to look, you know, call it. Um, and then if enemies are hit, she gets uh, her cooldowns reduced. So that's a pretty epic perk. I'm not gonna lie. Um, she has a lot of CC. I mean, her heroic perk is crowd control. So that is uh, interesting. Um, and like her kit, by the looks of it, is gonna be built for captaining. But I'd really be interested to see how she plays out as CP and weapon power. So hopefully I'll be able to grab her when she's released and uh, give it a whirl and record three separate videos, one for each path, um, and just build it the best I know how. <clears throat> All right, her A ability. It's called Benediction. Grace dashes to her target, striking them with an empowered retribution attack. Nearby allies instantly gain a directional holy shield that continually faces the target. While Grace gains a full Holy Shield that protects her from all sides, the Holy Shield reduces incoming damage that strikes the shield. Alright, so, Grace is going to dash in, kind of like an impale. She's going to hit them with an empowered attack, and then give her allies a Holy Shield that continually faces the target. So as long as the target is in front of them, they're going to have damage reduction, I believe, is what the Holy Shield does. I'll have to see if I can double check that. But that's my impression, is that she, that's the the thing that reduces damage. Um, And then she gains a holy shield that protects her from all sides. So she instantly gains a shield all around her. So that is a pretty powerful uh, ability right there. And definitely, it's not so much a crowd control kind of ability, but it, it gives like shielding to your whole team. It's that's nearby. I'm sorry. So if you're playing a three v three and you guys are in a team fight and you use that ability, everybody gets a shield facing the enemy, and then she gets a full body shield all the way around. Um, all right, and that yeah, and it reduces incoming damage that strikes the shield. So anything that hits that shield is going to be reduced. So I mean, maybe like AOE abilities and stuff like that will still do dam- like normal damage, but any like directional like attack so basic attacks um look like they're gonna do like directional in the sense of like it it attacks from a single direction and i just knocked my phone down guys sorry all right anyway so basic attacks anything that attacks like directly face to face kind of thing would be reduced um, so that would be like poke abilities, so ranged attacks, and melee attacks that are like straight straight on. So that's pretty pretty good. Um, now granted, obviously we don't know what the uh, the numbers are, we don't know how it's going to play out, but it's going to be going to be interesting. And then upon learning this ability, Grace permanently re- uh, reduces all damage she receives. This effect and the Holy Shield scale with crystal power. So as she gets more CP, 
the skill gets stronger, the damage reduction gets stronger. Um, so she's going to be a, a major like uh, tank kind of character. Um, played probably as captain. I mean, just because of all the CC and all the damage reduction that comes with it. Um, and then she's going to become tankier as she goes just by nature of the items she would buy. Oh, my phone is dying. And I had to get the charger going. Anyway, on overdrive, this skill is rep uh, refreshed upon casting Divine Intervention. That's her ultimate ability we'll get there. So, second ability, the B ability, Holy Nova. After a short delay, Grace knocks enemies into the air and disables them for a short time. If the attack hits at least one enemy, Grace immediately recovers from the ability. Um, so, this sounds like there will be like a cooldown animation if she misses the attack, but... So, and it's, it's going to be a short delay, so it's probably channeled, so it's going to be some time uh, before the attack actually goes off, so there's that factor. Um, and then she knocks them into the air and disables them for a short time. I'm assuming that it's just going to be while they're airborne they're going to be disabled, um, but we'll have to wait and see for sure. Um, and if it hits at least one enemy, she immediately, you know, is good. On overdrive, Grace gains immunity to negative effects when casting this ability. So, eh. I mean, that's a good overdrive, don't get me wrong. It means that she can't be interrupted. Um, she can't be stunned. She can't be, sl you know, rooted, uh, slowed, whatever, when she's casting if it's overdriven. To be honest, I don't know for sure if that would be an overdrive uh, ability for her, but we'll see. We're, obviously, you know, people are going to get her, they're going to try her out, and then they're going to, you know, come up with something for her, and we'll figure it all out at that point. <clears throat> and then... Final ability, Divine Intervention, that's her ultimate. Grace instantly surrounds herself and her target with a full Holy Shield and begins channeling, after which Grace's target receives a massive heal. Alright, so here we are, guys. This is what I was mentioning earlier. She, her ultimate becomes like an instant cast Holy Shield and then channels and provides healing. So this is where we get those alternate heal comps. Um, we don't have to see Lyra, Adagio, and something else. Like, we've seen those kind of comps before, where it's like you get one, like, <clears throat> one carry. You have Adagio playing, uh, usually, Crystal Adagio in the lane. Um, and then some some jungler. And sometimes it's a jungle Adagio, even, for that. Um, and then they end up constantly healing. Like, so one grabs a fountain, you have the Lyra healing, and you have the Adagio heal. And you just keep that, that carry alive forever. Um, while it just dishes out damage. Uh, it has its weaknesses, but, um, you know, heal comps are, were all the rage uh, early on in the spring split this year. All right, and so that, and then, you know, that holy shield, I mean, gives that, that shielding, that uh, damage reduction. So, like I said, we get into these, like, kind of shield comps, like, uh, like in League of Legends. So you might see stuff like, Lyra Grace and uh, let's say Ringo just for example you know you're gonna heal the Ringo you're gonna shield the Ringo and you know potentially keep that Ringo alive uh, forever so all right we're gonna we're gonna hurry up we don't want this video to go too long we're already at 13 minutes so it says it's a good idea to buy some crystal power on Grace even when played as a captain because it strengthens the power of her holy shields as well as her passive damage reduction Whenever possible, use Retribution not only for the additional damage and slow, but also for the cooldown reduction on her abilities. This works while attacking any enemy, not just heroes, so it's beneficial to attack jungle monsters and lane minions when you need to use your important abilities. Benediction is a great skill to initiate fights, but is also a very powerful defensive ability. Use it on the most threatening enemy hero to greatly reduce the amount of damage that your team takes. Holy Nova has a delay, making it easy for enemies to evade. Make sure to position yourself as close to the enemy as possible before casting it. While Divine Intervention reduces damage on allies when cast, the heal does not come until after a short channel. Be wary when casting her ultimate on critically low allies because they may die before the heal occurs. Okay, so basically don't hold your fountain too long <laughs> on that Divine Intervention. Um, Holy Nova, uh, you know, you have to time it or catch somebody when they're stunned. Um, basically is what it seems to be saying to me. And then Benediction is a great skill to initiate team fights. So, you know, it, the, the shield is going to face whichever enemy she hits or goes after. Um, so, 
say you're fighting a black feather, a cruel, and whatever else. It doesn't matter. Um, whichever one is doing the most damage and causing the most problems, a lot of times the cruel is a problem, um, for me at least. You know, I would probably use it on the cruel so the cruel can't get those stacks and stay, you know, alive. And my, my carries can, you know, just delete him before he can uh, do too much. Because that smite ability giving him all that heal, his passive healing, and, you know, all that all that mess, serpent mask, all that. Ugh, can't stand cruel. Um, anyway, so basically, and then it says use it as a defensive uh, maneuver. So basically, you know, think of it like everybody has a Githian wall as they back up. Um, if you hit the, you know, whatever has the like, the poke, like so, say you're facing a Samuel, you hit the Samuel, everybody gets a shield facing Samuel, and then you just, you know, back away so that they, you have that reduced damage. That would be my idea, something along those lines. But that is it. it says stay, you know, stay tuned for uh, more, you know, news for her info and guides. Enemies of the light should be fearful of her mace and update 2.6, which will be around in about probably about three weeks from now, give or take. Um, based on the fact that they normally re release uh, updates about every month or so. Uh, that's going to do it today, guys. If you want me to keep making these news videos based on what I saw yesterday, you guys like this. Um, like, you know, feel free, you know, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Uh, like the video. Leave a comment telling me how much you enjoy getting these uh, news updates. And I will be sure to keep them coming. I actually enjoy doing them because it helps me learn about the game as it evolves quicker than if I were just trying to play these as soon as I unlock them because it does take a while to unlock uh, new heroes sometimes, especially if you're not spending money. But thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you learned something. And I hope you, you know, see these ideas and go, okay, man, this guy might actually, you know, have some good ideas on how to play her before she gets released and you can actually, um, you know have an idea how you want to play her as soon as she comes out. And once again, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you have a good one.